Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we're going to show you how to use adjacent selection to efficiently select a subset of entities for your project. Okay, adjacent selection can be used for any entity in pointwise. That could be a database entity, connector, domain, block. Okay, in this case, we have a propeller blade and we've got a surface mesh on it. So we've got a, a set of structured surface domains. And what I want to do is I want to select the domains that are on the hub. And rather than using something like an inclusive selection box or just going around and, and clicking these uh, domains to select them, you know, your, your project, you could have something a little bit more organic, uh, something with hundreds if not thousands of domains, and that could be pretty inefficient to go through and select one at a time. So we can use adjacent selection to quickly select the, the domains that we want. So if I select one of them and use the hotkey Control shift a you'll notice that it selects all adjacent domains. Okay, and we'll also see this from the Select menu. You'll see there's the All Adjacent, you'll see the Control shift a hotkey. Now the reason it selects everything is because the angle limit has been set to 180 degrees. Okay, so I can change this to something lower, say 30 degrees, and what the angle limit does is it looks at the angle between adjacent patches. Okay, the turning angle between adjacent domains in this example. So if I set it to 30 degrees and pick a domain and go Control shift a it'll select all the domains on the hub that I want. If I want to change it back, I can just go and change this to 180 degrees. I can also change it from the select menu and angle limit. And then if I pick one of the domains and go control shift A, it'll go back to selecting all the adjacent domains. All right. So thanks for watching and have a pleasant Tuesday.